Hello everyone, Oli Techboy is here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a vanilla Minecraft server on 1.19.2, which is the latest at the time of this video, on Oracle Always Free MPL server. For the first step, you need to sign up for an Oracle Cloud account which requires a credit or debit card. I already done a sign up process and logged in as you can see. Once you logged in, go to 3 bars, go to compute, go to instances, click on create instance. Name your instance. For me, I name it Minecraft Vanilla Server. For image and shape, click on Edit. Click on Change Image for the Oracle Linux 8. Change to Ubuntu Image, aka Canonical Ubuntu Image. Click Select Image. The shape, click on Change Shape. Select Ampere. Select VM standard A1 flex. Then you select your number of OCPU to be 4 and number of memory to be 24. I am limited to that amount of resources as a result of the trial being over. Click select shape. Save the private key. This is important for later. Then for the boot volume, just leave it as it is and click create. This will take some time, so be very patient. While waiting, you can move your key to somewhere safe. For me, I'll be moving it to a desktop and creating a folder for it. I'll be cut the key, close the download folder, minimize the browser window. I'll create a new folder called my key for server. Click on that, paste the key. After which, convert the key using PartyGen. I'll be using PartyGen, open PartyGen, click conversion, click import key, navigate to the keys directory, select this folder that I saved the keys on at the desktop, select the key, save private key. Are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase to protect it? Click yes. I'll name it as Minecraft key. This will be the server key. I'll be using it to log in later. Click save. Close the party key generator. Go back to the web page. This will take a while, so be very patient. After which, copy the public IP address. Open party. Paste the IP address to the host name. Then go to data, auto login username is Ubuntu, SSH, press this plus button, then click on AUTH or off, click browse, find the private key that you converted. For me, it's in my keys for server folder and Minecraft key. Then go back to session, save the session. We will need this later on. I'll name it Minecraft Vanilla. Login, click save, and click open. You get this party security alert. Click accept. Once you're logged into the server, the first step is to update the system with sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. This command is to automatically upgrade the system and update the system. The Y is to like press Y for you without having to press Y to accept the update. Let it do its thing. This will take some time. Once you get this thing, press enter to skip that. After which, install Java 17. Via sudo app get install open JDK 70 JDK open JDK 17 GRE dash Y. This dash Y will help you skip through the Confirmation process. This will take some time. Once you get this, press enter again. Now the next step is to do port forwarding for the server and the Oracle firewall. First thing to do is to port forward at the Oracle firewall. Go back to the page. Click on subnet. Go to default security list for the VCN. 
Then click Add Ingress Rule. The first ingress rule is source CDIR is 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 .0. IP protocol keep it as TCP. Destination port is 25565 for the port. Then add another ingress rule. The source CDIR is 0 .0 .0 .0 IP protocol is UDP. Destination port range is 25565. Make sure both of them are correct. Click add ingress rule. You can now go back to the instance page. Then we can port forward at the server side. The first command is to open the port 25565 on the TCP side for input. Second is the UDP side for 25565 for the UDP side. Third command is to open the port for output for TCP side for 25565. Finally is the fourth command to open the output for UDP for 25565, which is Minecraft server port. Then sudo net filter persist save to save the changes to the IP tables. Then sudo net filter persist reload to reload the changes. And finally, sudo ip table f to make sure the changes are totally safe and reloaded. Now let's get to the server setup. First, create the Minecraft directory mkdir Minecraft, which is the folder to keep all our server stuff. Then cd Minecraft to go to the Minecraft folder. Now let's download the actual Minecraft vanilla client server. I mean. Go to Minecraft server jar, search for that. Click Minecraft server download. Right click this link. Click copy link address. Then go back to the party window. Enter WEGT WGET. Paste the link by right clicking. Paste dash O server dot jar. This will download the Minecraft server jar. After which, open the actual Minecraft server by Java MX 4G MXX 4G jar server jar. This will give you the initial setup. You get an error saying that you need to agree the EU LA. You get this error. This is normal. To fix that, simply enter nano. EULA.txt Edit the EULA to true to agree that to the EULA. Then press Ctrl Save, then Ctrl X to close the nano. Then we run the command this time at the screen in front of the Java command. This will keep the server running even you if you close the party window. Allow the server to start. This will take some time. Be very patient. Once you get done, the server is loaded. Go back to your instance page and copy the IP address again. Open up your Minecraft client. Now, I'll be opening up Minecraft Launcher and open the latest version of Minecraft. I'll click play to open the client. You can now close the party window. This shows the importance of the screen command. If you close the party window, the server will be kept alive. If you do that without the screen command, when you close the party window, it will kill the server. This to keep the server running. As I'm going to demonstrate you that, go multiplayer, go to direct connections, paste the server address by pressing Ctrl V, click join server. There you have it. You manage to log into the server with your Minecraft client. Let's say what if you want to go access the server console again. Let me close Minecraft client first. I can show you. Go back to party. 
click on the save session you just save click load for the credentials click open and boom back to the server to access the console enter screen dash ls to list the screens then screen dash x highlight these and right click to transfer across to the command then press enter and boom you access the server console now you can do whatever things you need like whitelisting banning or even opting yourself let me opt myself opt Oli gamer boy and boom now i'm up already let's say what if you want to access the server's files to do this at the console if you already access enter stop to stop the server this to prevent any corruption if you do mess up the files inside of the file system to access simply go to filezilla go back to your instance page and copy the public ip address again go to file site manager click on new site protocol is sftp host is your server's ip address port is 22 log on type is key file username is ubuntu key file is search for your key file is save whichever location for me i'm going to desktop keys for server my minecraft c keys i just save and generated click on connect and boom you access the file system go to minecraft you can copy your rules into the server by dragging and dropping into the file system okay or you can save your world for me i can show you that i can save my world go to documents drag and drop i will boom i save my world i can show you how to save your world first delete the world file click yes then drag and drop the world into the file system aka okay, the minecraft folder let it download and boom download finish you can close fazila after downloading your world into the server close it then go back to the party window type cd minecraft to go back to the minecraft directory then we do the screen java command to open the Minecraft server again. This will take some time, so be very patient. Go and open your Minecraft client to test again. Once you get done, you can now close your party window and open your Minecraft client and play on the server. Click multiplayer, go to direct connection, go to join server. Let's see whether the server will still work correctly and that's it the server is back with the world let's have some fun with minecraft a bit the performance is quite stable as you can see on vanilla minecraft very stable i really hope you enjoy my tutorial video please like share and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel i hope to see you in another video again